first type of DE of first order but not first degree. As earlier we discussed, the DE of first order but not first degree is classified into four ways. Solvable for P, solvable for X, solvable for Y and Clydides. The first one, the equation solvable for P. So, how to solve a DE of first order but not first degree which is in the form solvable for P. We know that if given DE is in the form F of x, y, p equal to 0, it can be expressed in the form, it can be written as, it can be written as uh, p power n plus p into p power n minus 1, p of x, y plus 1, pn equal to 0. Like p square, p plus constant. So p power n plus p1 of xy into p power n minus 1, so on plus pn equal to 0. So like this we can express given uh, d of first order but not first degree. After expressing this one, if you assume this one as equation 1, this one can be solved for p. One can be solved for p. This is solved to find p values. You may get n number of p values. We may get, we may get n p values like uh, p equal to some function of x, y p1 equal to, p2 equal to, p3 equal to, like that uh, we will get. If you get like that, then solve these p values like this. We may have n p values like uh, p equal to a, p equal to b like this. Solve these by substituting p equal to dy by dx. Solving means it will be first order first degree, which is in the form variable separable. For example, dy by dx equal to 3. That means p equal to 3. dy by dx equal to 3. So dy equal to 3 dx. Integrate y equal to 3x square by 2 plus c. That is one solution. Next, p equal to 2 is another one. Solve that one. You will get another solution. Like that, you will get n solutions. By solve these by substituting p equal to dy by dx, we get how many solutions? n solutions. The product of these n solutions, the product of these n solutions is gs, is general solution. Clear? So these are the steps we are going to follow to solve a DE of first order but not first degree which is in the form solvable for P. So the equation will be in P into some function of x, y. If you can solve that one for P values, if you can factorize directly for P, that comes under solvable for P. After finding P values, solve that p values by replacing p with dy by dx using variable separable or some other technique. You will get some solutions. The product of that solution is the general solution of given de of first order but not first degree which is uh, solvable for p. So example, I am discussing one problem. Solve Example we are discussing, how we are going to solve. p square minus 5p plus 6 equal to 0. Solve p square minus 5p plus 6 equal to 0. So coming to the solution. So this is in p, only p terms we have. An equation in P that may be second degree or third degree directly we can uh, treat it as an equation solvable for P type. 
A d of first order but not first degree very clear because p is d y by d x. We have d y by d x whole square. That means degree is two, degree order is one. So this is a d of first order but not first degree. But we have only three terms. Then directly we can treat it as a d is solvable for p. Now solve this equation using any one technique or using your calculator. You can enter the coefficients in your calculation. You get p values. Our two threes are six factorization is there. P square minus three p minus two p plus six minus three p minus two p is five p. Take p common p minus three. Take minus two common p minus three. So p minus three into p minus two equal to zero. So what you will get? P equal to three and p equal to two. P equal to three. P equal to two, you will get. Now substitute in the place of p dy by dx. If you write in the place of p dy by dx, dy by dx equal to three, dy equal to three dx. So if you integrate, what you will get? Integral dy equal to three integral dx. Integral dy is y. Y equal to dx is x. Plus c, or uh, y minus 3x minus c equal to zero is first solution. Coming to the second one, again here also do it like that. dy by dx equal to two, dy equal to two dx. Integrating, what you will get? Integral dy equal to two integral dx, y equal to two x plus c, two x minus c equal to zero. So finally, the general solution of given d e, G S. General solution of given d e is the product of these two. Y minus three x minus c into y minus two x minus c equal to zero. Okay. Any doubts? You may express anywhere.